Literature and Latte have released an update for Scrivener's iOS version this week, so let me give you a quick summary of what's new. Hi, this is Bela from the Writer's Territory and in this video we'll have a quick look at what's new in the last Scrivener iOS update. If you're new to Scrivener for iOS and you want to get an overview first, there is another video about that, go to the description below and you'll find the link there. Alright, new stuff in version 1.1. It's two main things really. Well, in fact, it's three main things, but two of them are visible and one is related to technical witchcraft that is happening in the background. The first major addition is that Scrivener's iOS version now has a dark mode. That's easier on your eyes if you like to write in the dark or you have to write through the night because your deadline is coming up. For whatever reason, to activate dark mode go to the settings and you'll find the magic switch there. The other major addition is that you can now add emojis as file or folder icons. It's been possible before to choose from a variety of icons to give your files and folders a little more personality. But now you have a custom field where you can enter anything you want, including emojis. You find the custom field when you go to the inspector and then down below tap on icon. You can still choose from all the other icons if you want or you enter an emoji or several of them in the custom field up top. That's a nice addition to mark up your files and folders when you want to keep track of their status, content or you just want to make them look nicer. As of now, those emojis won't sync to the Mac and PC versions of Scrivener, but it seems this will be included in further updates later this year. As for the technical changes, Dropbox has switched to a new API, so the code had to be adapted so that syncing will continue to work seamlessly. Alright, that's it. I'd love to hear what you think about those changes. Drop me comments below, let me know if you're working with Scrivener for iOS or with other mobile writing applications. And if you run into problems or find out something new, let me know. I'm sure other writers just like you will be interested in that as well. If you're here for the first time, subscribe to my channel and let me give you regular updates and tips on software for writers. If you're interested in free cheat sheets for Scrivener, go to my website writersterritory.com and get them there. The link is included in the description below. You'll also find a lot of other articles and videos about software for writers there. If you want to get in contact with me, the links are down below. Just drop me a message and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Have fun writing, everybody. See you. Bye.